what the fuck is up to my friend? How are we doing? How are we feeling? We're in the midst of the holiday season. I know that that's either a good thing or a bad thing for people, but I hope you guys are doing well. I am getting myself ready. Who texted me? Oh. Hmm. This cute guy just sent me a birthday party invitation. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway. <laughs> I am getting myself ready for the Jonas Brothers concert tonight. All right. I'm so excited. Okay, and first of all, shout out to Live Nation for sending me to this show in the first place. And I can't wait to show you guys the actual footage at the end of this video. Cause there were so many things that happened at this show that was just so funny and fantastic. And if you guys are a music lover and a concert lover like me, and you really want to see a show in the next few months or just check out the artists and bands that are performing in your area, I do have an affiliate link in my description. So just click that little affiliate link in the description below and just look at who's playing and just get some tickets and enjoy yourself this holiday season okay and also you would be supporting me by using my link so that would rock i haven't seen my brothers in a minute i actually got to meet them Ugh, last year i don't know if you guys saw that on instagram Ugh, it was everything to me so i'm so excited to see their concert tonight so i'm just like doing my makeup and getting ready for that but in my last video my previous video that i uploaded it was supposed to be a makeup tutorial i didn't even get to my eye makeup for this video i'm just gonna do my eye makeup and my eyebrows and just finish off the look so yeah this is just like a get ready with me to go to the jonas brothers show but first of all i just want to say i was listening to Troy Sivan's new album while i was doing my face makeup and my god I am just flabbergasted at this album. I've always loved Troy Sivan, and this is the tea. Troy Sivan was a YouTuber, correct? He was one of the main people that I would watch. Him and like, um, oh my God, the twins, those twins, those twins, not the Dolan twins, not the Dolan twins. They're, they were British. Oh yeah, Jack and Finn. Oh my God, yes. It was like in that era. It was like the Jack and Finn, Troy Sivan, what the buck. I was obsessed with what the buck. <laughs> where is what the buck? <laughs> like, where is what the buck? What the buck? Demi Lovato hates Joe Jonas. What the buck? I miss ya. Okay, anyway, back to Troy Sivan. But this new album, bitch, got me started. Got me started. Got Me Started by Choice Yvonne is truly a pop masterpiece. And I'm sorry, if you guys don't get it, you don't get it. But then I watched the music video. Oh, the choreo is so fresh and electric and it's just something that I've never seen before. Oh my God, it's such a perfect pop anthem. You have to watch the music video after this though. I don't know what type of drug he put in this song, but he's great. He's great. Anyway, fabulous. You just got me started and I don't think I can stop it. Okay, y'all, first things first, this light in the background, look at her, she's gorgeous. Slim, thick. I'm really proud of my work. I just built her today. That took me about an hour and a half. That was some hard labor that I had to go through. And she can change colors. This is a fun little purchase, guys. I got it on Amazon. All right, let's start doing our makeup. I have a Jonas Brothers show to go to. I don't actually think that I did my blush in that video. So if you guys are wondering what blush I'm wearing, it's the Anastasia blush. I don't even know. I need my chair to not do this. This is so distracting. I'm gonna bring in my gamer chair. <laughs> She's just too squeaky. Big mama, let's go girl. Oh, this is way better. Okay, I know that I said in my last video that my Peru vlog was next, but it's not, okay? It's taking longer than I thought. So here we are. Okay, so when I do my eyeshadow, I'm marching to the beat of my own drum. I don't know what I'm really doing, but since I've been doing this for so long, this is what I've kind of figured out. For eyeshadow, I have my Empowered by Huda, Lil Huddy. <laughs> this is Lil Huddy's makeup kit. Little hoodie beauty. I wish it's not. Um, for the base of the eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this first. It's in the shade Power. It's like a light peach color. If you're doing eyeshadow, you gotta build up the color. You just gotta get a baseline going first. Circles, windshield, 
and then I go a second coat with the color underneath. And then I go up to this one. After this one, I'm gonna go over it with Rebel, which is more of a mauve. Okay, I don't know what happened, but for some reason I don't have the footage of me putting the eyeshadow on or my eyeliner. I think that I stopped recording and then I just forgot to record again. So this is why in the next clip I'm wearing the same thing, but I have different jewelry on. It's because I had to film this step the next day. <laughs> but then when I do my eyelashes, I go back to the previous day. Does that make sense? I'm just time traveling, just for now. So next I have my Too Faced Born This Way palette. This is the natural nudes. It looks like this. And we're just gonna combine these two Two shimmers. We're just gonna mix those up and we're just gonna go in the corners on the top lid and on the bottom lid. Speaking of natural nudes, <laughs> I'm gonna share a little tale. It's about me sending a nude, but it was just a disaster, okay? So I was talking to this guy at the time. We weren't about to date or anything. I feel like we both just like kind of knew what it was. I thought that we were like friends that would flirt whenever we would see each other. It would be like, ooh, but us seeing each other was not often at all. Like he lived somewhere else, so we would text sometimes, but it was nothing crazy it was nothing deep i went to this show by myself but i got a little twisted it wasn't in la it was somewhere else so i had to travel for it after the show was over i went back to my hotel i was feeling really 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 good <laughs> a little bit too good i was feeling really confident i was feeling really hot i looked really hot that night and i was just pretty annoyed that nobody could see how hot i looked <laughs> And no one could just experience it, you know? That that was the vibe that I was on. I was just frustrated. So it was like four in the morning. Y'all already know how that goes. I hit up this guy. <laughs> Let's call him Derek, okay? I hit up Derek. Derek was just one of those guys that just would be awake. And I just knew I could rely on him to give me validation at that moment. And I just wanted to flirt with someone. I text Derek and I'm like, are you awake? That's it. Are you awake? Immediately, yeah, what's up? I was like, yes. He asked me like what I was up to. I was literally just laying in my hotel bed, just like. Long story short, I was like, okay, I'm gonna send this guy a picture. And I don't do this, okay? I don't, I'm not out here just sending guys pictures. Cause first of all, I feel like guys don't deserve to have pictures of me. And also another thing, I'm just like, I don't know what you're gonna do with that picture. So I was like, okay, I'll send him a picture. It was like a tasteful picture, okay? It wasn't an actual nude. It was just like a hot picture. I wasn't like actually naked. So <laughs> because I have an autoimmune disease, whenever I eat something that my body reacts to, I get red bumps on my arms and I get red bumps on my stomach. It just pisses me off. They probably weren't even noticeable, but they were noticeable for me. And I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna be wild and crazy and send this guy a hot picture of me right now at four in the morning while I'm lit, I gotta make those dots go away. <laughs> So I was like, okay, I can like fix that really quick. So I go on Facetune and I just smooth out my stomach and my arms and it was natural looking. And also my face wasn't in the picture. It was just my neck down because I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna put my face in the picture. So once I smoothed my skin, I saved the picture and I'm looking at it, contemplating. I'm like, do I do this? <laughs> And I was like, fuck it. And I send it. I'm like, hell yeah. And then he responds immediately and he's like freaking out. And he was like, oh my God, so hot. Just gassing me up. And that's what I wanted. That's what I just wanted in that moment. And I was like, yes, period. Mission accomplished. It was nothing too crazy. He just kept like talking about that picture and like complimenting me all day the next day. And I did have a little bit of anxiety. Cause I was like, damn, I really just sent him a picture, but it was hot and whatever. But then I was watching Tana Mojo and Brooks podcast, their canceled podcast. And they were talking about this girl that they know and how this girl received a dick pic from one of the guys that she was talking to. The girl that they know like clicked on the dick pic and it said on the top, the file name. And it said like facetune.jpg or whatever. <laughs> So obviously that guy face tuned his dick to make it look bigger. They were like laughing super hard about it on that podcast. But when they were like laughing about it, my entire body just like shut down. And I was like, oh my God, did I? <laughs> Does it say that? When I sent that guy that picture of me, uh, I didn't even know that it did that. Like I didn't even know that it did that. 
but also I feel like I'm smart enough to know that that would have happened and sent him the screenshotted version so it wouldn't say that at the top because I was so turnt when I sent that picture so I just like don't remember if I did that and I refuse to go back and look because we also haven't talked since <laughs> which is so funny to think about I also like really don't give a fuck what he thinks about me because of our relationship dynamic anyway but it's just it's just like an ego thing it's just like an annoying thing it was because i smoothed out my skin god who cares but that was just one of those mistakes where i'm like okay now i know thank you tana and brooke because damn <laughs> don't send them the actual facetune file can you guys in the comments share your experiences? If anything like that, just to make me feel better. Okay, I'm gonna take a brown. This is like a maple color and I'm just gonna go on my waterline. For my eyeliner, I'm just gonna do a classic top eyeliner with a wing. I don't really know how to explain how I do it. I guess the only tip that I will give y'all is to put your elbows on a hard surface while you're doing it. I'm a very shaky person. I just like need something stable. I don't understand the bitches that do their eyeliner like this. Like they like have, if you're one of these bitches, honestly, I applaud you because I don't get it. But like the bitches that can just like hold a mirror like this and just do it with one hand. How do y'all not croak? Like, how do y'all not just like, I'll just have like a jarring twitch out of nowhere that would fuck all of that up for me. So if you guys are like that still and you can do it this way, I applaud you. And another tip I guess is, is I like to start on the waterline underneath. I just kind of just like push up on my lashes. And then I like to go into the corner so it looks really thin. And then I just draw the natural shape of your eye. This is seriously like meditation for me. Like I love this. This calms my mind down. It's very interesting. For me, I'm silly and I like to go a little bit thicker, but I'm still doing the natural shape of my eye. And for a wing, it just depends on what kind of mood you're in. I like to go out a little bit far. I don't really have a technique. I just kind of take the end and the bottom and I just go out like that. And then I just connect the top point it out and just make it as crisp as you can. Okay, for my lashes, these are a little bit dramatic because I like being bold and silly. I love the drama. These are Lily lashes in Mykonos. These are my faves. <laughs> I'm like, these are my everyday lashes. They're so thick. <laughs> I just love it. Give me the drama. I don't care where I'm going. I don't care if I'm going to Walgreens. I love the drama. I know that like the whole new trend is the natural look. It's not that I'm trying to like conform with the trends, but I also do want to try to find a more natural look that suits me. That song is so good. Oh my God, I'm so excited to see the Jonas Brothers tonight. Did y'all know that the Jonas Brothers was my first concert? And when I was in third grade, I thought I was gay. My mom like won tickets at the grocery store to see the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> it was like this weird raffle. That was just always like not even possible in our heads because we just, we've never been to a concert. We would only see the country shows <laughs> at our county fair. Like we never went to an actual concert and we were obsessed with the Jonas Brothers and this was like a dream, like we were tweaking. Me, my mom, my dad and my sister just got in the car that weekend and we drove to Portland. Ew, this makes me want to cry because this was like my first First real experience where I was at a live show and I never felt anything more euphoric and just out of body. I've never been in like an arena before. I've never seen that many people before. I've never seen a concert like that before where like the lights would go off and the entire arena was just screaming and like, oh my God, I can just remember that feeling. My heart was about to beat out of my chest. I was like so excited and we like made little t-shirts for them and I was just crying the whole time. And it was so cute because my mom and my dad were just like looking at me and my sister just being like, oh, this is a core memory for them because they knew how much we love the Jonas Brothers. So my mom was like really trying to win these tickets in the raffle <laughs> at our grocery store. <laughs> like literally that's so cute. <laughs> My mom was so consistent going to that grocery store every single day. And the seats were so bad, y'all. Like, probably the worst seats in the entire 
entire arena just like nosebleeds, bit like top row, very top row. But we were there and we got to experience it. My dad brought binoculars for us. And so me and my sister got to like look at the binoculars and like share the binoculars. Oh, it was so cute. And honestly, I wouldn't have had it any other way. The Jonas Brothers just truly have no idea what impact that they had on our generation. When Disney Channel was fun and lit and there was no social media, everyone was just excited to be there and just happy to be there. The first time that I saw Year 3000, the music video, oh my God, the premiere. Was it after High School Musical? And I remember sitting at my fucking TV and being like, I'm feeling something tingly in my entire body and I'm not sure what it is. I think I like that brother right there in the middle. <laughs> the emo looking weasel in the middle. And that truly was the first time that I felt any tingly winglies for a boy. Like actually, you know? I've seen their show so many times, but they just feel like home to me. Whenever I go to a Jonas Brothers show, I just feel, I just feel this comfort. It's like this overwhelming comfort and peace. And I'm just excited to be home. It's almost like church. I feel like, these lashes look different from each other, do they? I feel like they look kind of different. Um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera. And the reason why I have to do them off camera is because I need my phone because I have to use a TikTok filter. <laughs> whatever judge me there's this tiktok filter it's just called eyebrows but it's basically just like this map that like maps out how you should do your eyebrows when it comes to your face shape and it's changed my life it's changed my freaking life that's why in my last video people were like sir did you shave off the ends of your eyebrows I didn't shape them off, but I plucked them off. And hey, this just works for me. I really like the way that my brows look with this filter on. So I just use that as a reference. Cause if you guys have been following me for a really long time, you guys know that I get so stressed out about my eyebrows because I never know what shape looks good on me. And that was just the one fucking feature about my face that I would just spiral about because I just didn't know what was correct. And that's why I love TikTok. I just need someone to tell me what the fuck to do and I'll do it. So I'm just gonna do that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I did my eyebrows off camera and now we're gonna do our final touches. Let me just take my nicotine gum out. Ew. Now that my nicotine is out of my mouth, um, I'm gonna use Better Than Sex mascara and I'm just gonna do my bottom lash. I don't know, I just feel like it just opens up my eyes a little bit more. And now here's the kicker, everybody. This touch of my makeup routine makes me really feel like I elevated my eye look. It's just a simple little step, but it makes a difference. I'm gonna go back to my little shimmer girlies. I'm gonna mix the two, and I'm gonna take this shimmer on my brow bone. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone, but just this little step at the end of your routine just really makes a difference just highlights your brows, okay? You spent so much time on your eyebrows. We want people to notice. And yes, I, <laughs> I do need to purchase a new highlighting kit because this is just sad. Holding on for dear life, there's barely anything left. I'm like scrounging on the sides. And I know in the makeup community, these types of fan brushes are looked down upon. And my thing is, is like, what's the harm? It works. It does the job. Like, what's what's the beef? I don't understand the beef with these little fan brushes. I've always used these. It looks the same to me. Now, I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. That rhyme. Woo, yeah. All right, all right, baby. Now for lipstick. This is Hideaway Matte by Urban Decay. I just love this color. She just knows what she's doing. And I love this lipstick because it's matte, but it's creamy. I cannot stand matte lipsticks that just dry them up. I hate that feeling of just no moisture. I don't want anything to dry out my lips. What if I kiss a boy at the Jonas Brothers concert and my lips feel like sandpaper? We don't want that. But what if I want it shinier, ladies and gentlemen? What am I gonna do? I got my Too Faced Lip Injection Gloss. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right here and a little bit up here. Okay, now that we're looking fresh and snatched, we're gonna move on to wardrobe. What the hell am I wearing to this Jonas Brothers show? I'm already running kind of late. I have to leave in 10 minutes. 
awesome. And usually when I have enough time, I would plan out a really cute intentional wardrobe, okay? And since I don't really have time to plan that out and I'm just going with Caitlyn, I think I'm just gonna wear a sweatshirt. And like a hat, I don't know. Should I wear a hat? I'm just gonna keep it simple. Black hoodie and it's just a BTS hat. It says tour on it. On the back it says map of the soul. If you know BTS, you know what I'm talking about. I was always so curious why it just says tour. Just tour. It's so true, BTS. <laughs> you are on tour. Well, they're not. But when they were on tour and they were selling these, just tour. <laughs> They're just straight to the point. They get it. Just keep it simple. Don't complicate things. Okay, I'm gonna put this on and I'll be right back, okay? I look like a coach. I look like I'm about to go to a sporting event. And honestly, I feel like I am. The Jonas Brothers shows are like a sporting event to me. This is serious. This outfit means business, okay? I'm here for one reason and one reason only, to foam at the mouth at Joe Jonas. And I take that seriously. So I think that that's what this look is giving. It's cute, it's casual, tour. I feel like that tracks. The Jonas Brothers, in fact, are on tour. I am going to that said tour. All right, y'all, I think it's time to see the brothers. I think it's time to see the Jonas Brothers. Let's go. You guys, the fact that we walked into the arena, we get to our seats, and the fact that the first thing that we're witnessing with our eyes is a couple getting married. Like, why was Joe Jonas officiating a wedding? <laughs> Will you repeat after me, please? With this ring, I pledge my love, honor, and devotion. With this ring, I pledge my love, honor, and devotion. They're literally getting married. With this ring, I pledge my honor, love, and devotion. This ring, I pledge my honor, love, and devotion. And with the authority vested in me by the laws of the state of I would have dressed up. I now pronounce you <laughs> husband and wife. And then the guy next to me was like, oh no, no, yeah, this is very real. We were like, oh, okay. got married. I'm so confused. <laughs> show that was so much fun there was a really funny moment though oh my god me and caitlin were literally screaming it was so funny you know how people in the crowd obviously hold up signs there were not a lot of signs and i'm like maybe it's just because the jonas brothers demographic is a little bit older that like grew up with them so there was this one bitch that had a sign she was like literally the only one with a sign and it said please reveal my baby's gender and joe was like Oh my God, we have to do that. And so he goes up to this girl. <laughs> he was like, what's your name? And let's just call her Mary. My name is Mary. And he was like, hey, Mary, we would love to reveal your baby's gender. The audience is like, yeah, that's really wholesome and sweet. And there was some like awkward silence after that. I think Joe was kind of thinking like, okay, so how are we gonna do this? Cause she just was like, cool. Thanks for revealing the baby's gender. But he was just like, 
so how do I do that? Like, what are we doing? And she goes, oh, we actually have an envelope. And then Joe was like, oh, sick. Can I see the envelope? And she goes, oh, I don't have it. And Joe was like, oh, <laughs> okay, where is it? And she was like, oh, my husband or boyfriend is getting it right now. <laughs> like, I think that, like, I think that the husband forgot to bring it. And when he realized that Joe actually was, like, wanting to do this for them, he was, like, looking for the envelope and realized he didn't have it. So then husband or boyfriend just had to run out and get it in the car. And she's like, yeah, sorry, he's getting it. He's gonna come back. And he was like, okay. <laughs> and like the whole audience was just like, woo, what's going on? We're waiting on the husband. He's taking a minute. Then finally the husband comes back. We got the envelope, it's okay. Take your time. We were like, oh my God, yes, this is so cute. What an amazing moment for this woman. <laughs> Regardless, this is a, this is an honor, thank you. And uh, thank you. Boy or girl. I'm excited to we love you. I'm gonna say girl. And then Joe, Joe basically took the envelope. He was acting as if he was gonna read it right then and there. Oh no, he didn't. He took the envelope. He hopped back on stage. There was like a stool in the middle of the stage and he like sat on the stool and everyone's still hyped because we're like, oh my God, this is gonna be such a cute moment. It's gonna be a girl. <laughs> Come on, girlie. He puts the gender reveal envelope underneath his thigh while he's sitting on the stool and he goes, all right, y'all, this next song <laughs> means a lot to me. And everyone was like, what? Wait, what? I thought you were just about to, <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were just gonna reveal this woman's baby's gender. You're just gonna go into like a really personal emotional song right now. What about the baby? Everyone was just like, okay. No guys, because like the anxiety that everybody felt because everybody was just like, what is it going to be? Like we couldn't even focus on the song. Everyone was just nervous and anticipating it. And I didn't recognize the song. I think it's on the new album. It was a beautiful song. I don't know. Maybe y'all can correct me if you were there, but I just feel like it had nothing to do with the gender reveal at all. And he just started <laughs> singing this ballad. And we were dying. Me and Caitlin were like, wait, what? <laughs> Did he just like forget? Are you gonna do it? And then towards the end of the song, he grabs the envelope from under his thigh. Oh my God, here's the moment. He pulls it out at the last fucking second. Like it was so rushed. You're having a ball. Now burning up for you. And then immediately after he said, it's a boy, the fucking stage lights up on the other side. They just moved on that quick. They turned the lights on. Dude, they turned the lights off. This song immediately after the gender reveal, this is what you made it wait a little bit longer. Like it was so fast. It was so fast. Oh my God, me and Caitlin were dying. We didn't even have time to cheer for the baby's gender because all of a sudden, it was so, so funny. It was so scatterbrain. What the hell are we doing brothers? Like it would be one thing to just say the baby's gender and then perform this song directly after just so everyone could relax and enjoy that moment. It was just such weird timing. It's still really cool that they did that. She probably thought that that was special anyway. Yeah, all in all, that was such a fun time. Thank you Live Nation for sending me and Caitlin there. So yeah guys, if you guys wanna see a show or see an artist that you love, just make sure you click that affiliate link in my description get some tickets again that would really help me out yeah just get some tickets let's have some fun but i love you guys thank you so much for watching bye